and we're literally right back. <laughs> so basically after this is um, go ahead and just take out any of the spit knots that you want by knocking them out, taking them down. Um, the next following area is basically going to be the rooftop and it's going to be highly more exposed, uh, very little hiding, uh, a lot of areas that you can shoot through so like um, uh, drywall and cardboard and crap like that. So um, be very cautious of how you actually play this next part. Frag grenades are really good. Uh, I apologize for the really loud storm and the rain that's going to be within this level. So, um, let's see what we can do here. Uh, the, you can skip, you know what, while I think about it, I'm going to turn the volume down on this so it doesn't blast you guys' eardrums with the rain, <laughs> rain sounds. Mm, what do we want, SF? Is that, no, that would be ambient, I think. Okay, yeah, that'd be ambient. I'll leave a little bit. So you guys can at least clear hear me. Or what the hell is this? Yeah, made some changes. Okay. Um, so frag grenades are really good in this area. But like I said, it's very open to play very cautiously because there are multiple ways the enemy can actually get to you if you don't pay attention. But there are also multiple ways you can get to the enemy too. Like this way, for instance, right here, you can easily drop a frag grenade between these two gentlemen that are having, will be having a conversation over here. So, how do you guys do? What do you mean? Downstairs. How many gigs did you clip? Have some respect. Come on! Doesn't make sense. Ah. Oh. You're good as dead. <laughs> He's actually stuck. Now, if you get really lucky with that, you can get all three of them, but I had it put at a certain angle, so uh, just like um, the Azerbaijan level with the oil refinery, you're in oh, an open environment, so the light's difference is not going to be the same like in a closed building where you can tell where the shadows are. So where you think it may be an actual dark spot, always pay attention to your light meter because sometimes you may be in a really bright area that looks like a really dark area, and the enemy will spot you. So. Uh, Explosive barrels, pretty sure. Don't exactly remember. Uh, so be careful. Some areas in Splinter Cell will have uh, the enemies already interact, so they will basically automatically know that you're there without actually being within entering that area just yet. So be careful. shoot this light out and as you can see we can basically just jump on some of this stuff which is actually really convenient because it gives you an open view of the map and uh, actually helps you out a lot to determine where you can see enemy patrols are some of where they may actually be standing in the darkness and you may not actually know until you accidentally walk up on them and then it's already too late Like these two fellow gentlemen. Uh, if you decide to actually shoot the ground as a distraction, be very careful because sometimes they might actually alert the enemy and cause them to actually attack you instead of actually being concerned of what the sound is. That's why you usually have cans and bottles that are around. So, uh, 
highly recommend you use that for your environment as a distraction. Once again, that ambience sounds of a warning for the to let you know that hey, they're they're on to something. He could shoot me all he wants. He wouldn't know where I was at, anyways. And I'm pretty sure they're using um, uh, what the hell is goddamn games go guns called? Um, I'm drawing a huge blank on what the hell they're called. They're like little, little little machine guns. I can't remember what the hell they're called. There's a certain name for them. But uh, they're pretty limited on range. Uh, they're usually used for like close range combat and stuff. I'm pretty sure like like one of these interactions in here... I think the enemy knows that you're automatically here. Yeah. What is... Like that interaction right there, you you weren't even in the room and the enemies were already alerted to your presence. However, they did not know exactly where your presence is, so it gives you the upper advantage. You know, so uh, as usual, they'll take cover and stuff like that, so you gotta be careful because some of them will actually hide up on like that little part of the area there that will actually try to uh, snipe you, so. Uh, of course, we're gonna do a quick save. Oh, that rain, these instantly just like kicked right in. No, no, no. Why did I just turn the volume down? Why the hell is it raining like really loud? Oh, it didn't bother saving it. Keep summering, I just don't want to make it extremely loud. Um, it made some changes to the game. Click yes to play changes. Alright. I don't want to blast you guys' eardrums with that. Uh, as usual, I believe this is another area that has a fellow gentleman in it. I believe there's some more grenades over here. Uh, I believe that's it. Maybe a couple more health packs. Okay, we got pretty much full on health packs, pretty much full on grenades, and uh, you should be really good under your health stuff. Uh, this is another fellow area that's going to have a fellow gentleman that's going to be uh, camped in a certain area. I believe there's like two or three gentlemen that are within this area. Yeah.
Always shoot at the lights if you're not actually um, sure where the enemy is. I know that's... I'm gonna turn that thing down. I know it's gonna be blasting into your guys' ears. I don't want to like overwhelm you guys as with like the Splinter Cell ambient alarm sound system where it's like, oh yeah, I can just go to blast this right in your guys' ears. Come out wherever you are. You're good as dead. I don't know how the hell he used to ride the first round. He ain't right at his goddamn head. <laughs> that's always funny to me. But that's like two interaction areas. The enemy automatically knows that Sam's there of his presence, but doesn't exactly know where, so. left so we should be close to beating this level. I hope there's another one of those areas that's gonna be having enemies to them. How the hell that bounced off? Come out wherever you are. Uh. Okay, that's like the AoE for those well, grenades is like really bad. Because that should have killed all three of them and it just like took out the one You're guy. Good as dead. Come out wherever you are. Uh. I wasn't there, buddy. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't know how the hell those guys survived that goddamn grenade. I'm usually a little more accurate with that stuff. But, um, apparently they survived. Uh, another room, uh, room that you can go to if you want to try to get bypass these guys. Uh, oh, shit, that's a wall mine. Uh, I don't remember if you need to go that way. So yeah, there's wall mines. <laughs> so uh, be careful. <laughs> I think I see something. Oh shit. Sir, you didn't see nothing. Oh shit, he's right next to a wall mine too. I really don't want to piss this guy off. Uh. I'm going to take you out right now. <laughs> I am not worried about him for like... Almost dropped that bomb there. I apologize. Worried about him running scared and running to a goddamn wall mine and blowing my ass up. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, I believe there's ammo and health in here. Yeah. This is for. No, that's for your rifle. No, grab the ammo, dummy. I'll grab his health back. Um. This may be a part 5 video. That or I make the final part a little longer than 20 minutes. The only problem with that is that rendering time takes tend to be a little longer. Especially if you hit around like 30 minutes and it's like, oh, I'm going to take all day to render this video. It's like, great, thanks. Because we got about 4 and a half minutes left, so. Uh, once again, big open area. There's going to be a lot of enemies. I believe there's enemies like everywhere around this area 
shoot that light out. Because I shouted out, that's how it happened. As usual, there's going to be a bunch of enemies roaming around in little corridors and small little rooms and stuff like that. Now, if we can get that fellow gentleman to come over here. Sounds like there's two of them. Happen. Well, go check it out, buddy. Uh. Okay, because look at this by time. This may be a part five video of a clean the tech building. That's the case. Clean the tech level is actually a really long level. I know we're getting pretty close to the guy, pretty close to the end of it, so. I really don't want to make a part fives, but uh, we'll see what we can do. My mouse actually kind of jammed up there too. I clicked it and had to add a little more pressure to it. So I definitely got to get a new mouse. Uh, yeah, explosive barrels, be careful. We got two minutes left. Um, pretty sure this is a fast paced interaction area, so it might be a little over 20 minutes. How am I missing even with the zoom? Come on out. Thank you. Holy crap. And you can see Wilkes is being attacked. And he gets shot multiple times like an idiot. Yeah, so pretty much Wilkes gets gunned down. Um, so basically, I think we had about a minute and a half left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna knock out the rest of this level and um, We're going to uh, finish up the clean deep building. So it'll be in four parts, but the, the fourth part will be a little longer than the others. You're not killing me. That's a big F no. <laughs> oh, God damn it. The one place I happen to save right here. I gotta kill these guys out again. Uh, as I say, folks, make sure you always save your game. Oh, we're gonna speed run this crap real quick. I thought I could get a certain angle on him and just like, nope, that didn't happen. He survived anyways. That's really annoying. Gotta wait for this fellow gentleman to come back over here. Come on, sir. You're taking your sweet ass time coming down some stairs. Damn, son. Uh. 
Uh, always be careful with shooting the spest knots in the heads too, because sometimes you'll actually hit their hat. Instead of actually hitting them in the head. You see a bullet coming to your face is what you see. And of course your buddy's completely oblivious over here. Uh, so let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> No way to skip it. Are you kidding me? I literally just shot his buddy in the same directional way. Oh, I wish there was a way to skip this crap. Sorry guys, you have to watch this multiple goddamn times because apparently the one guy just doesn't want to die. Because I am not watching that a goddamn fourth time because Lucky Joe over here manages to survive. I'm like his goddamn buddy. I managed to get up in one shot. Oh, goddamn annoying. One part should not be taking as long as it is because it's ridiculous. Really? I'm so glad in Chaos Theory they changed this. Changed it because it's so damn annoying. How am I missing? It's like you literally have it right on the goddamn light and it's just like, no, you don't have it on the light apparently. <laughs> uh, so annoying sometimes. Finally, I mean, that should have just taken one one round right there, but no, he survived every single goddamn round. <laughs> uh, I think we have to come up this way. So that was like early goddamn annoying. All right, take it on. Let's go let's jump up here. So uh, after taking three goddamn times to get one damn enemy dead. <laughs> This will be the end of the clean tech uh, level, and then we'll, uh... uh... Seriously? This game just does not want me to end the goddamn clean tech level. Why did he not just jump that? Am I missing something here? I mean, I know it's been a really long time since I've played this goddamn game, but come on now. That was a little ridiculous, yeah. What the hell?
Please don't fall. <laughs> That's all I ask. Please don't fall. Uh... Alright, so watch the video and then um, we'll end the recording. Are you all right? Is that a joke? I'm sorry. Turn. You're headed for Myanmar. The mission's not over. What about Wilkes? We're scrambling for a replacement. We might have a runner in Japan we could borrow, a woman named Cohen. What's in Myanmar? Nicolads. We use the Kalinatech data to pinpoint him at the Chinese embassy in Rangoon. Chinese support for the Georgians? The political situation isn't good. If they are backing Nicolads, you better find rock-solid proof. I don't want to go into World War III without a good reason. You've got some time before you reach Rangoon. Want me to patch a secure phone line so you can talk to Sarah? No. Disaster was narrowly averted at the Pickett Gap Water Treatment Plant in Tennessee. Plant management attribute the malfunction to a remote viral attack, possibly the latest act of terror in the Georgian information crisis. Still have no leads in the search for Combain Nikolaj. NATO and charity groups working in Azerbaijan continue to uncover the corpses left from what was only the beginning of the Georgian president's campaign of high-tech terror. If not for the swift intervention of plant employees, hundreds or even thousands could have become life-threateningly ill from contaminated water. They say we're safe and all right, but then they tell us to boil our water. Seeing the disaster averted at Pickett Gap, a possible turning point in the Georgian information crisis, marking the first time American authorities were able to recognize and overcome one of Nikolaj's acts of terror. Described early diplomatic negotiations with China a mixture of silence and antagonism. The Chinese claim that the U.S. are using suspicions of Georgian support as an unfounded excuse to inspect Chinese weapon stores and have so far refused cooperation. If possible, lending an even greater urgency to the search for Combain Nikola. So that's a big R.I.P. to uh, to Wilkes, as you can see, he basically died, and he was with us since the beginning of the game. This is where we're going to be getting the new agent, uh, Cohen, and she, I believe she's actually in uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory too. Uh, so Wilkes is no longer with us. So, um, like I said, the final uh, clean deck ability is going to be a little longer than normal because doing the end multiple goddamn times and the video interactions and stuff like that. So. But uh, either way, hope you guys have been staying safe. Hilly and Santas, make sure you drop a like. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, drop, drop, bleh, drop a comment below. Um, you know, what's been your favorite part so far? And uh, make sure to check them all out. All right, see you guys.